Checking in with Star Valley Medical Center once again with Health Topics Tuesday. And today we are talking with Kristen Simpson at Star Valley Medical Center's Therapy Services Department. Uh, Kristen, thanks so much for your time. We do appreciate it. Uh, first off, just tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been working in physical therapy and what you do for therapy services. All right. So I'm Kristen Simpson. I'm actually a CODA for our therapy department. And I'll kind of explain that a little bit later. But I work with the OT department. And I've been, been working here for almost three years, um, and I've gotten to get to know the community really well this past few past, past while, and it's been good. Excellent. Well, tell us what OT actually is. You mentioned that. Yeah, so occupational therapy, it's kind of a broad thing. Um, we focus on occupations, which occupations means anything that occupies our life or that has meaning to us. So when we have a disability or a surgery or an injury, um, a lot of times we can't complete some of those things we need to do. So occupational therapy, our goal is to get back to that with the rehab process. So it starts from like a young age, it can be kids who, um, who want to get back to play or need to perform better in school and it goes all the way to older adults that need to complete things like getting dressed after surgery or things like that. So it's got a pretty wide um, definition there. Now, Kristen, you also mentioned another acronym, CODA, C-O-T-A. Uh, for those not familiar with occupational therapy, may not be familiar with that term. Tell us what that is. So a CODA is a Certified Occupational Therapy Assistant. Um, they have a degree. That we, we go to school that te it, it, they teach us treatment ideas, um, things like that, all the things that you need to learn to be a CODA or an OT. Um, and the, the relationship between a CODA and an OT is kind of, kind of similar to a PA and a doctor. So we collaborate together on how to best treat our patients. Um, and the OT will do the initial eval and kind of come up with a plan of care. And then from then on, we collaborate with treatment at that point. Once again, with Kristen Simpson with Therapy Services at Star Valley Medical Center. Uh, so uh, Kristen, talk a little bit more about some of the specific services that you offer here. Okay, so we're in the hospital right out of for treating patients right out of surgery. Um, we have several outpatient clinics. We have one in Afton, in Thane, and sometimes we even ho help out in Cokeville if needed. We do home health throughout the valley, and then Billy is working with Dr. Suki in the clinic, in the ortho clinic as well. Excellent. And I understand that uh, this is ongoing training, right? It's something that uh, even though you are certified and have all the education you need, the training continues and you are actually going to be attending a conference in New Orleans soon. Tell us about that. Yeah, so they have a national conference every year um, for OT month, which April is OT month. And so I'll be attending a conference in New Orleans and that's where they present new research and ideas and practices for OT. So I'm excited to go and take some classes so that the community can have the newest up-to-date OT services here. That again is Kristen Simpson with Star Valley Medical Services Therapy Services Department here as part of our Health Topics Tuesday on SVI Media and Star Valley Medical Center.